tragic shooting of Savannah Graziano, a disturbing incident unfolds newly released video depicts the harrowing moment when 15-year-old Savannah Graziano, following a deputy's instructions, was fatally shot by other officers during a high-stakes encounter with law enforcement. The tragic incident, involving Savannah and her father Anthony Graziano, unfolded in September in Wamili Vinci Edwa and ended tragically with both of their deaths. It began with an alleged murder, an amber alert for Savannah, a high-speed chase, and culminated in a deadly shootout. The released footage, obtained under the California Public Records Act, provides a detailed timeline of events including 911 calls, dispatch audio, helicopter footage, and witness accounts. However, authorities caution that this information is still preliminary and subject to change pending further investigation. The search for Savannah commenced after an Amber Alert was issued due to concerns of her being abducted by her father, who was suspected of murdering her mother. Reports indicated that Anthony had also fired shots at others before the chase ensued. During the pursuit, shots were reportedly fired from both the passenger and driver sides of Anthony's vehicle, prompting a tense and dangerous situation for law enforcement. The pursuit eventually ended when Anthony attempted to flee but was unable to navigate the terrain, leading to a standoff with officers. In the midst of this chaos, Savannah emerged from the vehicle wearing tactical gear and a helmet. Despite instructions from a deputy to approach them, she was tragically shot by other officers. The deputy desperately tried to intervene, shouting for the shooting to stop as he realized the mistake, but it was too late. The aftermath revealed a scene of multiple firearms, ammunition, and other tactical gear at the site. Investigations by both the California Department of Justice and the Sheriff's Department are ongoing to determine the sequence of events and responsibility for Savannah's death. The incident has sparked discussions about the need for better training and communication within law enforcement to prevent such tragedies involving unarmed individuals. Savannah's family mourns her loss, emphasizing the need for change and accountability in these situations to avoid similar tragedies in the future.